Econ students, it's Mr. Clifford, and it's time for a quick overview of Macroeconomics Unit 2, Measuring the Economy. Alright, here's the cool thing about Macroeconomics. Other than video production and a few other courses you'll see on your campus, economics, macroeconomics, is relatively new. People didn't understand how the economy worked 100 years ago, and then, boom! Great Depression comes, and now we go, oh crap, we've got to start measuring and understanding how this economy works. Every economy wants three things. It doesn't matter the country, it wants three things, right? It wants growth, it wants stable prices, and it wants to limit unemployment. Let's talk about the first one, growth. How do you measure growth? Well, in economics, you're going to learn about GDP, gross domestic product. It's the dollar value of all final goods produced in a country's borders in a given year. What does that mean? It means it's a dollar value of everything we produce inside the entire economy. And it's made up of four different pieces. Consumer spending, business spending called investment, government spending, and spending by other countries, something called net exports. So focus on that concept, GDP, you're going to use it for the rest of the semester. You also learn about something called the business cycle, where we have periods of expansion and periods of contraction and expansion and contraction. It's simple stuff. The next thing you'll learn about, we said, is stable prices. You analyze inflation. You'll talk about something called the consumer price index, which is basically a number system to determine how prices have changed since the base year. Now, it requires some calculations, so make sure you do practice videos here on this YouTube channel. The next thing you're going to talk about is something called unemployment, right? You'll find out there's different types of unemployment, and you'll find out something called the natural rate of unemployment. We do not want 0% unemployment. You'd think that we would, but we don't because people are going to be between jobs all the time, and some jobs just kind of disappear because we don't really want those jobs anymore. And so we don't want 0% unemployment. We want something else called the natural rate of unemployment. All you're really learning about is concepts, and you're not going to get to the big graphs until the next unit. So learn all the concepts really well, and then you're going to apply in the next unit. Good luck. Till next time.